Hey there, I'm Coach Tanner, and um, thank you for taking a look at my conditioning program. Um, I'm going to earn our capes today, be superheroes, right? Um, this is day one, month one. We're going to start with a uh, jump rope warm up, and so um, it'll be a three minute uh, period of jumping rope, intervals uh, between just regular low intensity skipping rope and then. Um, higher intensity uh, exercises using the rope. Um, if you mess up, that's fine. Just get right back into it. Um, and, uh, you know, I vary this each time I do it. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to put three minutes on the clock and get us going. All right. Get your jump rope ready. Alright, so here we go. Three, two, one. Just start out with regular old jumping rope. Okay. Nice, low intensity. Do this for, you know, 15 seconds. Alright, then we'll go to some high knees here. Knees up to your waist. Try and be light on your toes. Good. Back to skipping some rope. Good. One leg double hops now, maybe something like this. Just enough to get a Sweat going, get your breath going, get your heart rate up. Good. Back to skipping rope. Okay, next I'm gonna do a little crisscross. Wide cross. And we're two minutes in about, one minute left to go. Good. Back to just skipping. Next I'm gonna do a little twisting action. Start getting that core involved. Okay, so, oh, I had messed up. It's okay, get right back into it. Good, regular ropes. Now the last one, we're gonna just try for double unders, okay? And I mess up, and that's okay. Get back into it. One more try, that's about three minutes. All right. So then we're gonna go right in from that into some body weight squats. Just gonna do 10 body weight squats. Get your breath under control. Squat, stand. Keep your weight in your heels. Good, keep your knees back behind your toes. We don't wanna come down like this. That'll hurt you. Way back, like you're sitting down in a chair. We got seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Next, we're gonna do some balance and reach. Find your balance on one leg. 
right? Just reach down and touch. Stand up, knee up. Slow and controlled. Two, three, four. Keep your whole foot on the ground here. Five. Try and straighten out that back leg. Six. Shoot energy out your heel. Seven. Eight. Nine. Balance is so important as an athlete. Switch legs. Find that balance. Ten of these. One. Whoop. Keep that core tight. Two. And it's okay to falter. That's fine. Three. What's not okay is giving up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Next warm up exercise is going to be. Okay, over the fence, okay? So what, you're just going to imagine there's a fence here. Going to step over it and over. And then back the other way. Do 10 total. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So that's it for the little warm up set. Um, okay, so now we've got a uh, plyo set. So we're going to start with low box drops. This here. Okay. We're going to start on the box, going to step off the box, land both feet at the same time, um, land as softly and quietly as possible. Now, I'll admit this is an area where I'm not as strong. And so, one, and then just we're going to do six of these. Okay. Two, I'm going to alternate which foot I lead with. Three. Four. Five. That wasn't very soft. Six. Good. Then we're going to go right into... Uh, uh, pogo hops or pogo jumps, okay? So that you're just going to uh, explode straight up as high as you can, feet together, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then just do some uh, box jumps. Eight of these, okay? So from here, get down low, step up, land soft. Okay, so now we'll repeat that. Okay, low box drop landings again. Yeah. 
These are to, just to get your knees used to stopping that acceleration, slowing your body down as it comes to the floor, using your joints as shock absorbers. And I lost count. I think I'm done. But I'll do one more. Good. All right. Um, pogo jumps, okay? Feet together. Just spring up as high as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then eight box jumps. Should be standing up all the way between each one. Three, four, five, six, seven. And you can use a shorter box. I should be using a taller box. For demonstration, this is fine. Um, if you're afraid of the box, start with a step. Or just start with some tuck jumps. Okay? Start somewhere though. Alright. So that's the end of the plyo series for day one. Now we're gonna go into the weight training series. Alright. Hope you're ready to get started with the resistance portion of our workout. Um, this uh, first exercise we'll do is actually a triplet of exercises. It's going to be a, a, a dumbbell squat with a calf raise. Um, we'll have uh, 10 of those. We'll go immediately into the second exercise, which is a dumbbell floor press. And we'll go immediately from that into a set of burpees. We've got 10 of each, no rest in between. Um, once we're done, with all three, we'll have a short break, and then we'll repeat that another couple of times. Um, since today is day one, we're gonna do it three times. Um, first set is 10 of each, second set is eight of each, third set is six of each. Um, have the, if you're gonna switch weights or anything like that, have them ready. Make sure you track your weights on your workout after we're done with the round. But let's go ahead and get started, okay? Set up the... Front squat, gonna rack the weight right here in front of you like this, okay? And then you're just gonna squat down, weight in your heels, toes behind, or weight, knees behind your toes, gonna press up, and then calf raise, okay? Make it all one motion, like that, okay? At the top, you're really squeezing your butt, all right? We have 10 of those. Weight up, three, two, one, down, up, and calf raise. Down, two, down, three, down, four. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Keep your weight in your heels. Squeeze your butt at the top. I think that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Immediately get on the ground. Gonna do a dumbbell floor press, okay? From a seated position, pick up your weight, rest them on your thighs, okay? Lean back gently, keep your lower back press down. Now even though we're laying down, our core is still engaged. Elbows out wide, weight directly over your elbows. As you press up, squeeze your chest together. Three, two, one. Up and down, that's one. Up. Down, that's two, up, really explode up with power. Like I said, squeeze that chest. How many is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I 
think that's 10. We'll do one more just in case though. A little bonus, good? Weights away, make sure they're not where you won't step on them. Gonna go right into 10 burpees now. Down, kick back, push up, jump up. Down, kick back, push up, feet in, jump up. Back, in, up, back, down, in, up. Five, I think, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. So that's the first set. Take a short break here. We'll do set number two in a minute, roughly. If you need to change weight, change weight. If you need to get water, well, you should get water. All right, ready for round two. Show you a little variation in case you don't have a wide array of dumbbells or something like that. I'm gonna go up in length, but instead of having two, I'm just gonna put one right here under my chin. And let's go in three, two, we only have eight this time, one, down, up, and calf raise, down, Two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right into floor press. Now I'm gonna pull out the other way. Sit down, way up, lie back, core tight, lower back press into the ground. And we have eight of these, ready? Up, one, down, two, down, three, up with power, down with control, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Down slowly, weights down safely, sit up, Make sure you're breathing so you don't get lightheaded. We're going right into burpees. Eight burpees. Okay, and here we go. Hands down, back, push up, jump up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. All right. Break. Round three coming up. We have six each way. So listen, don't compare yourself to me, okay? I'm old. I've done bad things to my body. But I know how to train athletes. I uh, sent a girl to college last year who over the course of this program, she increased her vertical by over two inches in an eight week program, okay? And while those are excellent results, they're not uncommon results. So you just gotta do it, you gotta put in the work. All right, here we go, set three. Six reps each, ex or each exercise. We're gonna blow right through it, then we'll be done with this round. Moving back to my two weights, okay? Six squats with the calf raise, and go. Down, raise. Down, two. Down, three. Down, four. Down, five. Down, six. Put those down. I'm switching to heavier weight for my floor press. Okay, you do what you do. Sit down, weight on your thighs, lay back, and here we go. Three, two, one. 
two, one. Press and down. Press and just let your shoulders and elbows barely touch the floor. Don't rest them. Three, just a tap and a go. Four, squeeze the chest. We got one more. Push it up, down slowly. Good. Last set of burpees. We have six. If you need to put your knees down to modify, whatever you got to do, but let's finish these. Here we go. Down. Oh, I wasn't looking. That's my bad. Down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And that's the first round. Okay. Take a break. We'll be doing round two in about 60 seconds. All right, now we've got Warrior Row. That's the only move that we have this round. We have two sets, a set of 10 and a set of eight. It's compound movement though, so there's a lot to it. Make sure you focus on my cues and get it done, okay? It's gonna be basically a upright row into a one-legged Warrior Three with a uh, bent over row. Let me show you. All right. So you have two weights, hold at your side, okay? Weights on your right foot. You're gonna warrior forward into warrior three, row those up, then come up here, one leg. Try to keep this one leg up the whole time. That's one. And up, two. And down, and up, three. Keep your back flat, don't hunch your back. If you start to fall out, tap your toe down, that's okay. That's up, up, four, five. Row, stand up, row knee up, six. Warrior out, oh, come on core, there we go. Try and get that back leg straight. If you can't balance for now, you have to tap that toe and do that, that's okay. Now you know you're gonna be feeling this in your back and in your shoulders, but what you don't realize is that you're also gonna start feeling it right in your butt, right? Right where your hamstring meets your cheek, your glute. You're gonna feel it there. I don't know what number I'm on, I think that was seven. Eight. Tap down, that's okay. Nine. Last one. We probably did too many and that's okay. Good. So down a second if you need to. Deep breath, but no rush, okay? 10 more, other leg. Get your balance on your lap now. Okay, try and keep your hips square to the ground. Okay, warrior, row, upright row. Keep that leg back, palms face each other, back flat, row, knee up, upright row. This isn't a fast exercise, as you can see. Three. We work on fast at other times. Right now we're working on strength and balance. Strength and core. Strength in your legs. Strength in your back. Keep going. Three more, I think. I need somebody to come and count for me when I do these videos. Ha. All right, rest, and then we have eight on each side. Get a drink, shake it out, stretch it out if you need to. 
Control your breathing. Good. All right. Should be a slight bend in that leg that's planted. It's not locked out. I'm gonna show you another modification here. If you, uh, if you uh, don't have the weights to make this happen with two, you can hold one weight on either side, right? Do this and do this. When you do these upright rows, guys, just come up so your shoulders are even with your elbows. You don't gotta go way up here like this and keep your weight below your elbow, right? You don't wanna bring it up here like this. That's not what we're doing, okay? Keep the weight below the elbow. Good, just roll it up to like your chest line. All right, that's enough talking. Eight reps, warrior row, set it up, weight on your right foot, and bend over, row, stand up, row. Tap that foot whenever you need to for balance, okay? If you need to step back and do this, I understand. Because this is hard. It's at four, five, five, six, eight. Yeah. Other leg, not too much of a break here. We're trying to keep that heart rate up as well. Here we go, pick them up, find that balance. Left foot and warrior row, upright row. Warrior row, upright row. Two, three. Four, five, almost five, six, and if you do fall out, that's okay. Just, right, fall out, get right back in, get your balance, don't skip reps. Seven, eight. Those are rough, I know. Take a break, we'll do round three. All right, while you're getting your drink, I'm gonna show you the next exercise. Round three is just uh, a single movement again, but it's a compound one, so it'll work multiple body parts. Um, it's a lunge with a dumbbell press, uh, with a one-arm dumbbell press. So we'll do eight on each leg, take a break, then do eight on each leg again, and take a break. So just two, re two sets, eight reps each set. Let's go ahead and do it. So listen to this setup here. You're gonna hold the weight on the same side as uh, the foot that is not moving, okay? So if I'm lunging with my left foot, which is how I'm gonna start, I am going to have the dumbbell on my right arm, okay? So it's opposite. Gonna rack it up here on my shoulder, okay? Gonna dumbbell lunge out, keep my chest up, keep my eye gaze forward, go down to a 90, dumbbell press, then explode off that back heel, back to standing, okay? We don't wanna be out here, guys. We don't wanna be out here with our heel off the ground, weight on the ball of our feet, knee out over your toe, those, those are recipes for injury, okay? And they don't work as effectively. Okay, you step out, weight's in your heel. I should be able even to pick my toe up off the ground. Okay, go down into a 90-90. I can keep this hand out here for balance, here, even here if you need to, but that makes you lean forward, I don't like that. Okay, keep your chest up, press it up, push off that heel back to standing. Okay, we've got eight of those. 
And I'm just gonna make sure my workout area is clear. You should as well. Okay, weight up. Step in with our left leg first. Right leg stationary. Weights in our right hand. And go. Lunge, press, back. One, out, up, back, two. Out, up, back, three. Keep that pace. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're just gonna go right into the other side. No break necessary. Now, our right leg is stationary. Seven with our left foot. I mean, sorry. Left foot stationary, seven with our right foot. Lunge out, drop down, press, explode back. Okay, we don't want to do this unless you have to, okay? If you have to do that, you might want to pick up less weight. Okay, we want to come back in one explosive stride, okay? Now I'm going down, so this left knee is almost to the floor. Sometimes it even touches the floor, but I'm not doing a knee drop into the floor, right? I think I have one more. Good, okay? Take a little break. We're gonna do that same thing again. Just a little break here. Get a water. All right, don't have to break too long because this side was really resting while this side was going. So I can get going now. Right arm, right foot planted, left foot stepping forward, lunge, press, explode back. Lunge, press, back. Lunge, press, back. We're still doing eight, that's four. Halfway there. Good. Lunge. Three. Two more. Two. Last one. Good. Right to the other side. Step on with the other leg. And go. Lunge. Press. Explode back. Lunge. Press. Keep your toes point forward. Some people on when they lunge have a tendency to roll their leg in or out. Don't do that. I forgot present. Everything's going forward. Press. Keep your chest up. Don't start bending over like this. Okay? Chest up. Press. Press. Let's see, two more, I think. Last one. Sometimes I do bonus exercises, and that's okay. We just don't want to do too few. All right. That was dumbbell lunge. Okay. So the next exercise is the uh, pull-ups, okay? Where my camera's set up, I don't have a pull-up bar in view. This one is really more self-paced anyway, okay? Don't be lazy. Do as you just got one set of pull-ups. As many as you can get. If you can get zero, then get a chair or a partner to hold your feet so that you can do assisted pull-ups, okay? Um, in basketball, this is such an important exercise to have a strong back so you can secure those rebounds so that um, you can squeeze that ball and keep good ball security. Don't skip the pull-ups, all right? I'm gonna go do mine and I'll meet you back here for our, uh, I think it'll be our last set. All right, you got those pull-ups done. Um, in case you're still doing yours, I'll just go ahead and get these next exercises set up. Make sure you get a drink, stay hydrated. We'll get going. And we got another uh, super set or triplet workout. It's uh, three moves. We got a, uh, Front delt raise, 
alternating with a curl in a sumo squat position. So I'll show you what that looks like. We'll go from that into uh, dorsiflexion, um, which is a uh, exercise for your front of your shin, um, combat shin splints and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll finish the round with one-legged calf raises um, with heavy weight, and I'll show you those as well. So um, let's get right to it. I'm gonna set up the sumo uh, front delt raise, followed by curl, okay? So um, get your weight. Gonna get in a sumo squat position. So feet real wide, like wider than your shoulders. Toes pointed out as much as you can. Some people's flexibility is better than others. Mine isn't great, okay? Um, some of you will have really good flexibility. Um, you wanna try and keep your butt under like a straight back. You don't want your butt to stick out like you would in a normal squat, okay? Up here, toes pointed out. Just let the weight hang between your knees, okay? And so we've got uh, delt raise, hammer curl, okay? I'm gonna alternate between those for a set of 10, I think. Uh, nope, set of eight. Set of eight, that was nice. Week one, day one, month one, nice guy, okay? Can't promise tomorrow will be nice. All right, so get set in that sumo squat position. Okay, butt, pelvis tucked under, hands down, and eight. We got raise, curl, that's one. Raise, curl, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, Seven, one more of each, eight, and eight. Whew. Those are rough, okay. Go right into dorsiflexion on this. So what you're gonna do is uh, you're just gonna lift your toes off the ground with your heels planted, okay? Now if you, you can lean against a wall to do this, or use a chair to stabilize. So I'm just lifting my toes off the ground. Okay, I should feel it in the front of my shins. We're just gonna hold that for a count of 30, okay? Three, two, one, toes up. One, two, three, four. Core tight, 10. Twenty. Keep straight up. Good posture. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good. Okay. Now we go right from there into one-legged calf raise. So I want you to find some sort of elevated surface for this. Um, you can use like the uh, edge of a mat if you want. You can use like a the handle of a dumbbell if you have hex bells, okay? You're just gonna raise up and down, okay? What we wanna try and do is tuck the other leg behind the calf, okay? So, and you're gonna wanna use a lightweight so it's not so far off the ground. I am just gonna use the edge of this jump mat. Now listen, if you don't have something to elevate on, if you just do this on the ground, that's okay too, you know? Um, but if we can get that deeper range of motion by elevating on something, that's even better, okay? Go, one, we got 10 of these, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, come on, Tanner, balance, eight, see, this is a challenge, nine, even for me. Ten. I'm sure there's somebody that's not a challenge for, but I'm not worried about them because I'm not competing against them right now. Right now, I'm just get, trying to get myself better. Here we go, switch legs, 10 more. 
One, two, and down. Three, really get a good squeeze at the top if you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, you want to make sure you're holding the weight on the same side that you're doing the calf raise. Otherwise, it makes it a little too easy. All right, so there's that set. We don't need a whole lot of exercise or rest time in this one because it's not real uh, cardio heavy. So we're just going to go right into it. We have, um, what do we have? Oh, yeah. So, so on these, sumo, delt raise, curls, alternating. Um, you don't want such a heavy weight that you have to do this to get them up, okay? You need to keep your back as still as you can. Keep that pelvis, pelvic tuss, uh, pelvis tucked, okay? Back flat, weights down, okay? Get as low as you can. Keep that head up, shoulders back, raise, curl, raise, and when I raise these, I'm only coming up to shoulder height, okay? I'm not getting crazy doing 180 degrees, just right out straight, and then curl up. We're doing eight again, and curl. Two more, I think, up, and curl. I think this is the last one. We'll do one more just in case. I feel my form start to slip. If I'd have had to do more, I would have had to drop down weight. That's okay. I want to fail. I want to get to that point where I can't go. Okay, dorsiflexion. I know this exercise may not feel like much. This is an injury prevention mainly. Up on your toes. Hold it. Really pull up those toes. Try pulling your toes to your chin. 10 more seconds. Good. All right. And then calf raises. So I was a little too wobbly on that last one, kind of disappointed, but that's where I'm at. Just take reality and move on. So I'm just gonna stay right on the flat ground for these ones now. I'm gonna do 10. And here we go. One, two, squeeze it, and down. Three, give a squeeze at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, come on, and 10. Hey, so I got work to do. I know I used to be a lot better at those. That's what happens when you don't do them for a while. And here we go, one, and you'll find that one foot is probably a lot better than the other foot. That's okay. Still work them equally, and they'll catch up, or maybe it never will quite catch up. Oh, sorry. And that's okay, too. We just want to get better on each leg. And... Here we go. All right. And so that was that for that round. Now we just have a finisher, okay? Our finisher is going to be bear, tap, tap, plank. Fun little exercise. It's a 60 second round. Get down here, okay? 60 second round finisher, this is it. Our goal on this is for the entire time, to not let your knees touch the ground, okay? Try and stay up the entire time. I'll demo it, and then we'll start the timer, and then we'll go, okay? So right now, just watch. You're gonna start in a bear stance. And I'll be honest, for some of you, just this might be a challenge, okay? And if that's where you're at, then just do this, okay? And then progress when you're able to. But a bear stance is just like if you're on all fours, 
except for pick your knees off the ground. Okay, my, arm, my hands are right under my shoulders, my knees are right under my hips, my toes are dug into the mat, okay? I'm not back here like this, I'm not up here like this, and I'm not up here like this, okay? Our shins are parallel to the ground, our back is more or less parallel to the ground, okay? We're not hunched up like this. Press your chest through your shoulders, okay? So that's the bear stance. That's where we're gonna start. Okay, so now we're gonna do a tap, tap, plank exercise in this. Okay, so from that bear stance, you're gonna tap a knee, tap a knee, plank back. Tap, tap, plank. Tap, tap, plank. Tap, tap, plank. Okay, we're gonna go for 60 seconds. Um, like I said, no rest the entire time. Let me get the timer ready. Get one last sip of water if you need it. Sorry, just getting this ready to go. One minute. All right, get in that stance, get ready, go. Tap, tap, plank. Tap, tap, plank. Tap, tap, plank. And if you need to step back into that plank, that's okay. That's fine. Tap, tap, plank. On that plank, make sure your body's flat, okay? It's not this, this isn't a plank. Right there like that. Tap, tap, plank. Tap, tap, plank. Tap, tap, plank. Keep going, hold on. Can't see the timer, because I'm blind. Keep going, tap, tap, plank. We got five, four, Three, two, one, time. All right. I thought an alarm would go off or something. It didn't. Good thing I stopped and looked. So that's our first round, okay? We're going to cool down, stretch it out. After you work it out, you got to work it in. Don't skip the cool down. Um, nice work, okay? Make sure you're recording your weight so that when we go to week two, you can advance, you can build, you can get stronger. Remember, you may think you can't, you may have all this negative energy build up, you may have this mindset thinking you're stuck, you can do it, okay? You can get to that next level, whatever that next level is for you. Maybe that next level is going from C team to JV, or from JV to varsity, okay? Maybe it's going from uh, a high school to a college. Maybe it's going from a junior college to uh, to the next level, to a four year. But wherever you're at, okay, you can get there. If you'll work hard, if you'll put in the effort in here, put in the effort on the court, you can do work, okay? I love you guys, God bless. Let's stretch out. All right, hope you got that water down. We're gonna stretch it out. You know, uh, stretching out is stretching out. And there's nothing special about this stretch out routine. Uh, but it's here to make sure you don't have an excuse to skip it. Oh, Tanner didn't give me a stretch. I guess I can just go. Now, you got to stretch. So here we go. All right. Okay. Uh, arm across the chest. Here we go. Just hold it. Pull it across. But don't choke yourself with your arm. Pull it across. Pull it down as well. Get a good stretch in that shoulder. Okay. Good. Same arm. Put it behind your head. Try to reach the middle of your back, okay? Don't put it on top of your head, that's not a stretch. Reach down the middle of your back, pull your elbow with your other hand, stretch that tricep, okay? And then, just lean away so you get a good stretch up that side. Okay, you should feel it in your lats, in your obliques. Good, okay? Spread that out, other side. Pull it across, pull it down. Nice job. I hope you feel good. Hope you feel accomplished. Okay, lean away.
way, you did something that most people aren't doing, okay? Most of the people watching this, you're a high school athlete, high school basketball player, or a high school soccer player. Most people you're going to play against aren't doing this. They're not putting in the time right now in the morning, and you are. That's going to pay off in the end, okay? But don't let good enough be enough, okay? Keep going and be great with it, okay? Fold your hands behind your back. Clasp your fingers together. Roll your shoulders back and down. Let's get a good stretch across that chest. that out. My neck is sore, so I'm going to pull it away. Be gentle with yourself. Stretch that other hand out. Good. Bring it forward just a little. Okay. Don't crank on your neck. Just a little pressure to get a good stretch. I'm going to do the other side. Pull it straight to the side. Reach out with this other hand. forward just a little. Good. Now I'm going to put my chin to my chest. Just gently apply some pressure back here. Get a good stretch in my upper back and my neck. Good. Roll that out. Shake it out. <sighs> Quad stretch. Okay. Pick it up. Knees together. Push your hips forward. Squeeze your butt. Core engaged chest high. I pretend like I'm holding a cup of water. That helps me stay steady. Switch feet. Grab the foot. Maybe. Got knees together. Squeeze the butt. Chest up. Hold the water. Good. Drop that down. Shake it out. Okay. Feet apart. Gonna just breathe in. Okay. Flat back. Bend down. Get about halfway down. I'm just gonna hold it here. Hands out, stretch, biceps by the ears. Back flat. Neck in neutral position. Okay, gonna bend my right leg. Get a good stretch that way. Back to the middle. Bend the other leg. Back to the middle, release the rest of the way down, release your head and neck, palms to the floor. Good, I'm going to walk my feet in, bend my knees, I'm going to put my fingers under my toes and straighten my knees, try and keep my stomach on my thighs, and then bend. And straighten and bend and straighten and bend okay tuck my chin to my chest roll up one vertebrae at a time inhale <sighs> exhale all right hey you did work today and this is day one okay day one you're gonna be sore Okay? You're going to wonder if you should come back tomorrow. You're going to have all kinds of doubts. But I tell you, trust the process. See it through to the end. Your game will thank you. Your teammates will thank you. But most importantly, you will thank you. Because you'll be so proud of the work you put in. I'm proud of your results. I love you. God bless.